I'm Rufa Kagoko Giam. I'm a professor, associate professor at the graduate school, the Mindanao State University in General Santo City in Mindanao, the Philippines. It was the lack of any systematic study about the the actual situation on the ground from the perspective of the community people up to the uh, that of the middle class and those who are sitting as uh, elected government officials or those who are appointed in the regional and the local bureaucracies. Because of that there was this project uh, which was a collaboration between the University of the Philippines National College of Public Administration with the Philippine Center for Islam and Democracy and with International IDEA. How to ask the question so that they will be more concrete for the, for the participants to answer, like concepts like democracy. We just discovered that in the different multilingual, multilingual uh, communities that we were going doing the assessments in, they had no indigenous word that can capture the essence of the word democracy. And so it has to be said in many different uh, ways of explanation and that was another source of difficulty because we cannot pinpoint the exact one-on-one -on -one term that will correspond to the ideas of a democratic institution. There's a word for government, but there's no word for democracy. Then what complicated the issue was for this special assessment was the issue of compatibility with Islam. And that's another, another uh, <laughs> tricky thing is when you try to ask the question immediately, they will say, why are you comparing Islam with democracy? That they cannot be compared. It's like comparing apples to oranges. Islam is a way of life. A democracy is a political system. How can you compare the two things? And how can it be compatible? I mean, almost always there's a heated discussion immediately after you ask the first question. So we found a way to get around it without becoming very, you know, like uh, being so aggressive in a way by asking them to tell stories about their experiences. So it was a way of uh, adjusting to what people think about concepts, especially Western-oriented concepts. There are what we might consider islets of success as far as you know putting the democratic agenda forward, but that needs to be replicated so that it will become not only islets but islands and become even regions that democracy can work better or have a, a more conducive environment, a more enabling environment for people to be appreciated for their contribution. Mm -hmm. It's actually just presenting a, a picture as one slice of reality as you may co consider that. But it's a slice of reality that's actually operational on the ground. And that's very useful to push uh, policies forward.